In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Stable Diffusion, a latent text-to-image diffusion model, up and running on an AMD Navi GPU. Stable Diffusion is the open source competitor to OpenAI's DALI 2 text-to-image model. First, let's see what Stable Diffusion is capable of. Step one is to install the ROCKM kernel modules on the host Linux OS. ROCKM is AMD's version of CUDA. Even though we will be setting up a Docker container to run the ROCKM version of PyTorch, we still need the ROCKM compatible kernel and modules on the host machine. So since I'm using Arch Linux, we just need to install a few packages from the Arch user repository. So the first package we're going to install is rockm opencl runtime. After that, we're going to install rockm info. And finally, if you don't already have Docker installed, go ahead and install that. For those of you running Ubuntu 20.04, you will need to add an external repository and then install the ROCKM kernel modules and finally install Docker. You will follow steps 1 through 3 of the instructions on this ROCKM quick start page. I'll paste the links in the description below for Ubuntu users. And step 2 is to download the Docker image and set up the container. So that's what we'll do right now. The first thing we're gonna do before we download the Docker image is we're gonna make sure Docker is started. So you can type sudo systemctl start docker and Docker should start up if it's not already started in, on your system. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab a ROCKM version of PyTorch that matches your video cards. So click on the Tags tab. And I have a Radeon RX 6800 XT, which is a Navi 21 card. So this is the image that I want to download. I can go ahead and just copy the pull command and paste it into the terminal. And I've already downloaded the image, so on your system it may take a little bit longer. The next thing we're going to do is create a container using the image that we just downloaded. And we can do so by running this alias command here. And now all we need to do, now that we have the alias set up to drun, is run the, the container. And as you can see, I am now inside my Docker container and I have PyTorch, the ROCKM version, installed. The next step is to go to the Docker X directory, which is mapped to the same directory in your home, and then clone the code for stable diffusion from GitHub. So I'm going to create a directory. And I'm going to clone the repo into this directory. And once you've downloaded the model checkpoints, 
you're going to go to your stable diffusion directory, go to the models directory, LDM, and inside here you will create a new folder called stable diffusion v1. And inside this folder, you will copy the model checkpoints and make sure you name the model checkpoints as model.ckpt as shown here. Step five is to set up the conda environment. We're gonna go ahead and do that by first going to the stable diffusion directory where we clone the repo and we're going to type conda env create f environment.yaml and what that's going to do is that's going to set up the, the python conda environment and download all the necessary dependencies this will take some time the next step is to install the rock m version of pytorch and overwrite the CUDA version that was just installed. So we come over to PyTorch.org. We select PIP for the package. Uh, we select Compute Platform of ROCKM 5.11. I know that the Docker image that we're using is based on ROCKM 5.2, but this still seems to work. We go ahead and copy this command. We paste it over into our terminal and we add an upgrade to the pip and we go ahead and run this and it will go ahead and download the rock m version of pytorch and overwrite the cuda version of pytorch that we just installed when we set up our conda environment this will go this will take some time i'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this we need to restart our docker uh, shell here, our bash shell, in order to get the conda environment set up correctly. So I'm going to bring over another terminal. I'm going to take a look at, see what our Docker container name is. And we can see it's called Happy Colden. So we're going to exit out of this one. And now we're going to start a new shell on the container using the command docker exec dash it the container name and the shell we want to start so now we're back in our container and we can at this point activate the conda environment Now that our Conda environment is activated, the next step is to install the PyTorch version of ROCKM. So we're going to come over here, select PIP as the package uh, at the PyTorch.org website, uh, select ROCKM 5.11 as the compute platform. And we're going to end up copying this command and pasting it into the terminal. We need to make one change. Instead of installing it, we're gonna do an upgrade. And what this will do is this will overwrite the CUDA version of PyTorch that we have installed with the ROCKM version. And yes, I know this is using ROCKM 5.11 version of PyTorch, and we have a, a Docker image that is based off of ROCKM 5.2, but this still seems to work. So let's go ahead and execute this command. It's going to take a little while to download all the necessary packages, so I'll go ahead and fast forward through this and be right back. We're almost done here. Now we just need to go to the Docker X directory where we installed our stable diffusion from uh, the GitHub clone that we did earlier, and then we can go ahead and take a look at that directory in the file manager and we'll run we'll run stable diffusion and tell it to generate an image in this case a cybernetic mushroom render trending on artstation now the first time you run 
stable diffusion, it's going to take a long time and download several large packages. Make sure you have enough space on your drive and we'll be, we'll be back when this is done. And we're done. We've just generated an image in Stable Diffusion. If you take a look at the Stable Diffusion directory, there's a new folder called Outputs. Let's go in there and let's take a look at what we just generated. And here it is. The, the mushrooms that we just generated on an AMD Radeon 6800 XT card. I hope this helps you guys, those of you who have uh, an AMD GPU, get Stable Diffusion up and running. If so, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.